मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास टुडे वी शैल रीड यूनिट फॉर बी रीडिंग द नोटी बॉय द लेसन नेम इज द नोटी बॉय इट्स ए पोएम रिटर्न बाय जॉन किड्स In this poem, we read about a naughty boy. What's the meaning of naughty? Naughty means disobedient. Naughty boy means disobedient boy. Here, a naughty boy. Once he went to scotland to know about the people who lived there he found many new things he found ground as hard as a yard the yard as long as a song the song as merry as a cherry the cherry being red and the lid as weighty as eighty the door as wooden as in england so he was excited and wondered very much and stand in his shoes this is the poem now students we shall learn the poem we shall read the poem there was a naughty boy and a naughty boy was he naughty means disobedient he ran away to scotland the people there to see he went to scotland to see the people there he found that the ground was as hard that a yard there he found the ground as a yard was as long that a song the yard was as long that a song was as merry that a cherry the song was as merry as a cherry that a cherry was as red the cherry was red that lid was as weighty he found the lid there it was so heavy that lid was as weighty that four score was as eighty the lid was as weighty as the four score of eighty that a door was as wooden he found the door there it was as wooden as wooden means it was made of wood wooden wooden means made of wood as in england as in england it means that he went from england he went from england to scotland 
So he stood in his shoes and he wondered. He was so excited. He was wondered. So he stood in his shoes. He stood in his shoes and he wondered. He stood in his shoes means he was so excited. He was so wondered that he stand there. That's the meaning. So students, this is the poem. There was a naughty boy and a naughty boy was he. He ran away to Scotland. The people there to see, there he found that the ground was as hard that a yard, was as long that a song, was as merry that a cherry. Merry, merry means, merry means cheerful. Merry means cheerful. Found, found means to discover. In the last lesson we had learned that word, found. Discover that leaf was as eighty, that four score was as eighty, that leaf was as weighty, that four score was as eighty, the lid was so heavy, that a door was as wooden, wooden means it was made of wood. As in England, his native place is England. So he stood in his shoes and he wondered, he wondered, he wondered, and he stood in his shoes and he wondered. Written by John Keats. Students, this is the poem. I hope you understood the poem. It is a simple poem. You read the poem. Okay, now take the next page. Answer the following questions. In the above poem, as hard as is a simile. Pick out other similes from the poem. As hard as is a simile. Pick out other similes from the poem. See. The ground was as hard as a yard. The yard was as long as a song. The song was as merry as a cherry. The cherry Sorry, the lid was as weighty as eighty. These are the similes. Now, next question. Find out the rhyming words from the poem. One is done for you. Found ground. Other rhyming words. Find out the other rhyming words. First, he, see. Second, found, ground. That is already given there. Hard, yard. Long, song. Merry, cherry. Red, red. Weighty, eighty. These are the rhyming words. 
Next, why is the boy called naughty? Can you give the answer? Why is the boy called naughty? The boy is called naughty because he is always busy doing naughty things. Here in this poem, we found that when he wants to know about the people of Scotland, he immediately rushed to the city. In this poem, we had seen that he wanted to know about the people of, the Scot of Scotland. So he immediately rushed to the town. Okay, second question. What did he find out in Scotland? What did he find out in Scotland? We had seen that. He found out many things in Scotland. He found out the people of Scotland. He found out a ground, a beautiful song, a red cherry, the heavy lead, the four score of eighty, the wooden door. He found out these things in Scotland. What did he find out in Scotland? He found out many things in Scotland. See, he found out a ground, a beautiful song, a red cherry, the heavy lead, the four score of eighty, the wooden door. Next, what did the boy wonder about? What did the boy wonder about? He wondered about the things he saw in Scotland. They were the same as those of England. He wondered about the things he saw in Scotland. He found out that the things were the same as those of England. What do you like about the boy? Sixth question. What do you like about the boy? I like about the boy about the I like about the boy's curiosity to know about the new things around him. I like about the boy's curiosity to know about the new things around him. What do you understand by he stood in his shoes? What do you understand? He stood in his shoes means the boy was very excited and wondered at the things he saw in Scotland. So he stood in his shoes. H. Next question. Which lines are repeated? Why? What was its effect on the poem? The lines, there was a naughty boy and he wondered, he stood in his shoes. These lines are repeated. Now, what was its effect on the poem? They are repeated to strong, 
the meanings of the lines. The repetition gives some rhythm to the poem. What was the boy's opinion about Scotland before and after visiting it? Before visiting it, he thought that the people and the things in Scotland would be not same as those in England. But after visiting it, he understood that the people and the things are same as those are in England. What do you think about countries or places you have never been to? Which things there do you expect to be different? Talk about them in your group. So think about the places. Imagine about the places which you had never seen and write the answer of this question in your own words. So students, this lesson is over. I read this poem many times. And write down the consonances in your fair note. Thank you.